Yes, indeed. Hey, you talking about? <laughs> I notice a lot of times I'm starting to ask y'all, hey, you talking about? A lot of times y'all be like, Rich, hey, you talking about? You feel me? You know what I'm saying? So we just communication. We got to figure out what the hell each other talking about. Anyway, what's going? Hey, 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 hey. everybody. So, but Mike, Rich, man, what's happening with y'all today? I hope everybody, each and every last one of y'all is having a blast. Day today, man. Today is release day Saturday. Today, the Air Jordan 3 Wizards. You know what I'm saying? Harry Potter guys. Wizards drop today. And um, my prediction, hmm, this shit was gonna sit. Now I just looked on Nike Sneakers app and they probably have a, like a few sizes left. A lot of sizes did sell out. My size 12 was available when they dropped, probably about 20 minutes after they dropped, an hour after they dropped. Um, it's about three o'clock and all the all the size 12, all the big sizes is gone. They still got a couple of small sizes left. And, and then when, when that happens on Sneaker Zap, nine times out of 10 in a the mall, they're probably gonna see it too. So I'm pretty sure I'm gonna see some pairs in there. Other than the stores like, like JD Sports and uh, Foot Lock and stuff, which do reservations, I'm gonna probably see it probably in like Snipes, you know, something like that. So anyway, let's go in the mall and see what we got going on with the Air Jordan 3 Wizards and see what else we can find ourselves getting into, shall we? Do it! Man, since threes dropped today, I thought I'd just rock some threes. Nothing special, nothing crazy. Just the Air, the I'm I'm in there, Air Jordan. Three guys, this is my favorite I'm I'm near uh shooter drop. Y'all comment below what's your favorite I'm I'm near You know what I'm saying? Collab. But the threes are it for me, man. You feel me? Alright, alright. For this edition of the mall vlog, I'm coming up on JD Sports. So of course we got the green guys in JD Sports. You already know they're gonna have these in stock. These are sitting, aka available, you feel me? And I, the black leather is underrated on these. A lot of people don't even realize that the black leather is really good. Like the rest of the leather is good, but usually the black leather is like really cheap. But it's uh, pretty good on this shoe, man. So y'all get your pair of these, man. They hard, bro. Of course they still got a 13 sitting around the black flint guys, man. Looking real cleansed on their ass, man. I like these, but um, I probably would not cop these unless I catch them on sale. I really just don't need this shoe. I like the color on these mids right here, too. Kind of like a, um, like an aqua blue or something like that. And then you got that yellow hitch and stuff like that. Yellow bottoms. Um, it's kind of yellow. I don't know. I don't know what color it is. Kind of tan, yellow, whatever. Anyway, I like that color, man. On a pair of highs. Yeah, this would be a pickup on a pair of highs. A heavy Power range of vibes going on with the Air Max 90s right here. The chrome and red guys here you talking about. This reminds me of something else too. I can't put my finger on it. Is it Voltron? Is it? It ain't Iron Man. It's something that's reminding me of this, this, this chrome against this red. It's a shame I know this mall like the back of my hand to the point where I use the elevator. I know exactly what stores I'm going to. I know exactly the route. I have a route, Shawty. I go into the mall, one side of the mall. I hit all the sneaker stores, and then I go out on the other side of the mall. Oh, headed down to um, Snipes now. What y'all comment this weekend, man? Comment below and tell me any shoes that y'all buying this weekend, anything that's upcoming that y'all looking forward to. Tell me what y'all got coming up, man. So the Wizard 3s is actually True Blue. I noticed that when I was looking at that shirt, I said, this is actually, I, mean, I know it looked like the True Blue, the color blocking, but it is actually the same True Blue that they use on True Blue 3. And how we know that that blue is the True Blue, though? Is how we know that that is the true blue. You feel me? Uh, you know what I'm saying? Where did he get the name from? Speaking of the true blue, I haven't seen them in the mall yet. Well, not the true blue, the wizard um, threes. I haven't seen them yet. Uh, snipes. If nobody else have them, Snipes usually have a pair sitting on display. Because um, everybody else pretty much like raffled or did reservations and stuff like that. See? My first time seeing the shoe in the mall is in um, Snipes. So this is the Air Jordan 3, as you can see. Uh, I, I wanna say true blue. Uh, Wizards, guys, bro. I don't show this, I don't did a review, so I ain't gonna hold y'all too long on these. These is clean as hell. I ain't gonna cap, you know what I'm saying? Heavy true blue, three vibes, but I mean, you got your copper hits instead. You know what I'm saying? The copper on the uh, tongue, copper hits up here with the laces. Um, I wish they would've did a copper, even though that's not how the shoe came. I think a copper stitched Nike Air in the back would have just set this shoe 
all the way off. Comment below if y'all agree with that. Um, he hits the copper on the bottom. Has better materials and better elephant print than the um, True Blue 3s, and the shape is way better. But I still seen a couple of pairs of these that had inconsistent elephant print. This uh, in particular pedal I'm holding my hand got across the board pretty consistent elephant print. It looked good. I'm not mad at these at all. This is like a perfect pair right here. Uh, this is a size nine and a half, man. So I ain't mad at these, man. The Air Jordan 3. Um, I keep wanting to say True Blue. <laughs> the Air Jordan 3 Wizards, guys, man, with the True. Ain't no lies, ain't no capping in this blue. It's the True Blue. He ain't talking about it. <laughs> the pink guys, like I said, y'all seen my last vlog. I got these for my wife and my daughter. Shout out to the family. Um, shout out to my beautiful girls. Um, also, oh, I, I'm not gonna keep showing the 13s. That's my last time. Ain't gonna show the, ain't gonna show the Flint 13s no more. Until I get over there with a, they got them on the wallet. I think at this point, most GRs is gonna be available. I think that's that's kind of like the subject line of the video, shot. Like most GRs that drop Jordans, Nikes, whatever. If it's a general release at this point, at this stage in the sneaker game, you're gonna be able to go, just walk into the store and cop your size for the most part. If it's a general release, I guess technically like Lost and Founds and stuff is a general release too. But y'all already know that's an exception to the rule right now. Uh, stuff like Panda Dunks that's gonna sell out too. It's just certain shoes, even though they're general releases, they're gonna sell out every time. I see that they finally selling out of Cardinal Sevens, so. That's a good sign. Even though it's one up there, I think it's a size like 14 or something like that. But that's the last one they got left. So it's nice to see it because they never went on sale in the mall. They went on sale online, but they never went on sale in the mall. And to see that they actually selling out, it just warms my heart. Y'all finally getting it. The disrespect is over. Boy, outside of the um, outside of, of the foot locker right here, we got a whole concert going on. I ain't gonna lie. It's I hope you don't watch this video, but it ain't really pleasing to the ears, man. Like, he jamming on stage. Y'all probably can't see him. But anyway, <laughs> I'm in Foot Locker. Yeah, I hear you talking about it. I'm not really in the market for no shoes right now because, like, I'd be right here. This is why I'd be at in here. And then everything else, I'd be like, oh, okay then. And not just saying because I like Jordans. Of course I like Jordans. But it's like, when you really look at everything else, like what stands out? Y'all come and tell me the stuff that actually sitting in the mall, what stands out? I mean, Y'all looking at what I'm looking at. Anybody in the comments, tell me what stands out to you, bro? Oh, them Christmas, uh, not Christmas. Oh, Christmas LeBrons? They don't sell for 150. That ain't bad. It right here make my stomach hurt, bro. It right here make my stomach hurt because I bought these for retail, which was like $130, bro. 59 bucks. They probably ain't got my size anyway, though, because y'all know that size 12 goes first. Yeah, you talking about those stand out to me. OG um, gold bullets or whatever they call them now. I used to call them gold metal. I don't know what gold bullet came from. But yeah, those stand out to me. Um, OG guys. Yeah, you talking about. It's a female artist up there now. She's a, she's a little bit better. She's pleasing to the ears. I, I met with her. Um, but like, it take a lot. It take a lot to be able to go on the stage in the middle of the mall and perform, you know what I'm saying? Especially if nobody know you or whatever, so hats off to them for that. Nothing else, yeah, you talking about. Last but not least, last but not least, DTLR, you talking about. So they got the uh, stumper slides in there, guys. All the L more up-tempo slide guys equipped with the air bubble going all the way around these hoes. Shawty, get you a pair. He ain't talking about it. But I was just talking to the manager and angle cap slit. These slit look super comfortable, man. Um, not saying I'm gonna get a pair, but hey, I really ain't mad at these. He talking about they still some clump, clump stumpers. I ain't got the dunk lows in here. Red and white, clean. So, shout out to Champ Sports real quick, because Champ's done sent me a lot of free shoes what I used to anyway since I've been on YouTube. But this Champs location at Stonecrest Mall is not the move. They don't be having nothing in here, Shawty. Honestly, don't even know why I still come in here, guy. Um, so I guess the press though is just gonna be on sale in every every store in the mall. That's how we doing. So I note to self, just wait on press though. But that's like I said, that side of 12 still be eluding the kid. But where these hell? What buddy? Why they I know they didn't do this, Shawty. He man, is that He man? Master of the Universe, is it? Yup, He is it? Puma X He man, Stompers, boy, what is it? 
Puma, like, one thing I know, Puma is like the whore of the sneaker community, bro. Like, they will make a collab with anybody, bro. And the fact that I say a whore is hilarious. They hoes. <laughs> Boy, Puma will make a collab with anybody, Charlie. With anybody. He Man, bro. Got a fur on the tongue. Got He Man's actually face on the tongue, bro. Patent leather. I remember when they did the Sonic the Hedgehog years ago, bro. And I actually had that shoe. I, I sold it, but fifty-nine dollars for the He-Man Puma Stompers. Hey, you talking about? That, kind of think of that. That's probably why Champ don't send me no shoe no more. I be, I be roasting everything. I just, I just be getting my honest opinion, man. That's all. No, this is now the He-Man two up here. This is the um, this one. No, wait a minute. Yeah, this is his the the uh, tiger he used to ride. I forgot his name, but uh, he used to he used to ride a tiger, bro. And this was his tiger. Now, they, be, they, they be taking it back with the collab by Puma do. Um, I was gonna say, now this gotta be the Skeletor. Uh, yeah, cause it, then they got him his laugh. <laughs> so most of y'all probably know this guy from the meme. He, he laughed and he ran out the room or run in a cave or something like that. But this is actually a character in this old cartoon, the He-Man cartoon, the Masters of the Universe cartoon, bro. So yeah, this one, Puma X Skeletor. Here you talking about. Uh, they all on sale for right reason though, cause they could have chose a, a different silhouette for these. They should have chose a Puma Classic for these, man. So we got the Adidas Tim's going on right here. Boy, this is a whole Timberland boot and an Adidas silhouette. Hey, you talking about? What they call these, bro? What's the name of these? They on sale too, $99. But the fact that they put a whole Timberland colorway on the Adidas is, is quite hilarious. Anyway, that was the <laughs> I was gonna say that was the Air Jordan. That was the mall vlog, man. Jordan threes. Um, they they sitting pretty much. I talked to the uh, manager and champs. He said they did reservations and they said he said only three people picked up men's pairs. So they got all GS pairs available, and only three people picked up men's pairs. Same thing with DTLR. They weren't really picking them up like that in there. Same thing with Foot Locker. They weren't really picking them up like. I don't know why people reserve these shoes. What's the purpose? Just let the shoe sit on release day. My thing is, I don't know why JD Sports, the company itself, JD Sports and um, Champ Foot Lock and all these places, I don't know. They should do like Snipes do. Just put them out on the shelves. Like at this point, what's the point of reserving the shoes? Because most of these GR, especially the ones, I mean, I, mean, I guess certain ones do sell out. Like Jordan 3 um, white cement's going to sell out. But I think it should be somebody at these companies that know, can kind of tell how they ear to the ground and they know what's gonna sit and what's gonna sell out. Cause I could have told you that these Wizard 3s was gonna sit and it's not because they not dope. This is because they don't have no resale value. That shoe was clean as hell. And OG Mike Rich, probably about 2015, 2016, they would have dropped that shoe. I would have copped no question because it's a clean ass shoe. You feel me? Um, but I just don't need it in the collection, man. Got a lot of sneakers, bro. You know what I'm saying? Got to be real selective. It got to be something that really just pops out to me. Something super OG or something that I just really think that they did a good job for our materials, you know, stuff like that on. You know what I'm saying? That's just me. I ain't got to have them. They clean as hell, though. Anyway, speaking of that, comment below and tell me if you went after them guys. If you went after the Air Jordan 3 Wizards, tell me in the comments below did you want the shoe do you like it or did you pass and like i said when i was in the mall what are y'all looking forward to um right now i'm looking forward to chambray jordan sevens i'm looking and that's like gonna be a gr and it's gonna sit as well and i'm still gonna cop like i say certain shoes i be wanting the collection i always like that shoe um air jordan eight playoffs which i'm hoping to get an early review sometime soon i'm not real i'm not like i said i don't have no jordan eights in my collection no more not really super crazy about the Jordan 8s, but I just seen some images of that one. And like I said, I've always liked the color blocking and the colorway of those OG shoes that he wore in the game, like the playoffs and stuff like that. I love the black against the red, iconic Chicago Bulls, Michael Jordan colorways, you know what I'm saying? So I'm kind of on the fence if I'm gonna get that shoe or not, you feel me? Um, but. I mean, cause they eights. I'm not just like I said, eights, they stay hot when you put them on your feet. Not, no breathability. It's like putting on some boots. Now, I don't like this, really how to strap. I don't like the strap, none of that stuff, but I do like the originals though. I like the OGs just because of what they are. And plus that, like I said, I seen earlier images and the, the red is popping on there. The black suede looked real good. Looked like some quality, looked like the OGs. 
I like the shoe. They went with, they did go with the red pull um, strap in the back. So that's OG all the way. It's just, I it's something about original shoes that Michael Jordan wore. But I do have to ask myself when I buy shoes nowadays, am I going to wear them? And I probably won't wear them H like that, man. So after I review them, I try to get a little early review. I make my official decision, but for right now, I'm saying I probably won't cop the playoff eights. Y'all comment below if y'all looking forward to them eights, man. What else? <clears throat> There's a lot of stuff coming up. Um, I don't know. We getting any, any more Travis Scott collabs this year, 2023? Are we getting? It's a trophy room Jordan One Low coming out. We don't know how that's gonna look yet. Um, I love Jordan One Low, so they gotta. I hope they do good on those. Um, but I'm trying to think of anything. Thunders coming out. Um, now it's crazy because before I was saying I'm definitely gonna cop Thunders. Now lately I'm like I might not get Thunder Fours either, bro. I might I might chill out on the Thunder Fours, bro. Um, I don't know. Just trying to be real, real selective and just go for the stuff that I just really, really like and I really, really want. You feel me? So anyway, I appreciate y'all for watching this video. Comment below anything that you want to say to your boy Rich or about the video. Hit the thumbs up, like the video, subscribe to my channel. If you haven't done so already, hit that notification bell so you can become a part of Rich Nation stand all the way up to the moon on them. And as you're talking about, and keep watching my video, cause that's what I'm here for. Go on. Call up the plug, hit me a lick. Early kids from Retro Rick. New air bubble like helium lift. So as to bless, thank God for the gift. Yeah, it's a hit. Premium fit. No barbecue, but this is it. Hold up, rock, rock, just my hit. With richest kids, I mean my rich. Yeah, falling all the way to the moon on them. Space Jam going on the tune on them. Sweeping y'all haters, get the broom on them. New heat coming real soon on them. My rich fans, shout that's what I got to give for. Thank you for watching these vids, that's what I'm here for. For it gone all the way up to the moon on them. What's happening there, everybody? Yeah. Life so lighty, daddy. Bless. Hit that Nike store just like your girl hit Hobby Lobby. Yeah. Then we fly to Abu Dhabi. Then we gone straight up to the moon on them. Hey. Hey. Hey.